I had fun with uh, Xavier. He's a perfectionist. He's very passionate. He has very specific ideas of what he wants. Uh, he's involved in every single aspect of the filmmaking, but he's and he's also very, very passionate and um, has a vision. And I think that these days it's really hard to find people that that do directors that do, or if they do, it gets gobbled up by the suits. You know, when the, when you have a committee kind of telling you what your movie is, and uh, I think he's pretty much resisted resisted that. He's so lovely and present and um, he's not afraid of, of actors. He, he, he becomes so involved in your performance from the very beginning and, and he's so aware of, of what your experience and your tone, the tone is on set. Like he's walking around with a boom box playing music and like he's so invested in every little minute detail so it's really special. I'm a friend of Zav's and People kept telling me, like, oh, he, he's written you into the script. He's written Sarah Gadden into the script. And I was like, really? Like, I haven't read it. I don't know why I would do that. And then he, like, called me and was like, yeah, I wrote you into my script. Will you do it? And I was like, I guess I kind of have to because you've sent it out to half the world. And I guess I'll do it. But will you change the name? <laughs> I play a character who's on Hell's and High with um, Kit. And she is supposed to be the typical... CW starlet who's kind of giving him a hard time about his life choices. He's a uh, he's damaged by the environment he's in, um, and that's some of what the film is trying to say. He has to hide his sexuality, uh, or feels he does, for for his to to do to play the roles that he wants to play. To play Jack Harvest, who's this superhero, he can't be a gay man. Um, I think he's a lost individual. I think he has been damaged by uh, by fame. Um, and I found all of that quite quite interesting to delve into because there's times that I felt that that's done it that I've been I've been there too. Um, you know, I think I think Will uh, when Will and, and and Kit's character are together, it allows for a little bit of freedom for Kit, uh, a little bit of this is who I really am, and then he's hiding the entire really the rest of the movie is hiding the real him um, and that's a difficult thing that a lot of people in today's society are going through that it makes it so important that Xavier uh, wrote wrote a piece like this it's so hard to see this movie um, as as everyone else is going to see it now for me because it's been this process from the beginning to me this movie is, when you see Jacob Tremblay's first scene in this film, that's Xavier. That's Xavier now, at his age, even just being such a, a, a fan and a genuine like lover of actors. So I didn't actually get to work, there's, there's a lot of different worlds in the movie, so I wasn't, didn't get to work with Jacob, but everybody thinks he's fantastic. You know, one of the greatest things about Xavier and working with Xavier is he allows you to have your own process and he's open to discovering new processes along the way if you speak up to him. Uh, being such a young, phenomenal prodigy director, writer and actor, uh, he, he, a lot of people are shy in front of him. I have the opportunity to be in a Xavier Dolan film, uh, the first English-speaking Xavier Dolan film, and on top of all of that, uh, the first it's in Canada, and he's the Canadian director, and they don't get enough credit for, for, for how brilliant they are because most of the time it's in French, or, um, so the Americans don't really get to, get to see the true brilliance of some of these movies like Mommy and, and just everything Xavier touches. is uh, He's never going to change. So that, I think after the AIDS pandemic that we lost a lot of the color of our world and I'm glad to see that it's coming back again, you know. And I, when I was explaining to my little tiny guy, because someone was being, I mean he was really little, like three, and he said, uh, well what's gay? Because everybody was like, don't cross your legs, you'll be gay. This at a soccer match, you know, these kids in the burbs, because we're in New York City where that's not an issue. 
And I said, well, well, you know, gay is, can mean two things. It can mean like when you're really happy, or it can mean two people that are the same gender, like Todd and Tony love each other and they're together, and Suzanne and blah, 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 and go this way. And he said, well, then I'm gay because I'm happy and I love Brian. <laughs> What's it like coming to somewhere? You, you've, you know, it's your home and you've got two films playing in the same place. Oh, I mean, it's great. It's, it's such a, so film festivals are so surreal and you, you know, you're having all of these crazy circus-like experiences, but then you're like mom and dad and your uncles and aunts are in the audience because you are from here. All your family can come watch. Exactly. My parents are here tonight. My dad's actually standing right behind you. Hey, dad. See? So weird. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!